Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Phoenix Point uh, blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty. Time to get a few more supplies. Little Green and his team are on the way. Uh, they want Big Fat Soldier um, AP, so skill P rather. Uh, some of them want to get their second class. Natalie, for instance. Some of them just want quick aim. Yeah, and some of them just want to destroy something. So we're good at the moment. It's more a matter of equipping everyone. And then giving it a go. Haven't played with these guys in a while. So I'm wondering, instead of that big gun, well the big gun is still very good. Trigger finger, we got a few means of just capturing enemies. Here we also do have, oh yeah, Ain uh, got the spider drones so that he's a bit more successful with them. He was looking for the right weapon. Okay, cool. Let's deploy the squad. All right, we landed. Let's take a look. We got a couple of enemies. Let me mute Discord. Good, there we go, finally. So, we got a couple of chests. The ones deeper in are potentially too far for us, so that won't work, but uh, we have three over here. So, not perfect, but an okay result for us. Charging. Charging further, Tyler Trigger Finger. Advancing. Moving up. Uh, yeah, I should have not brought too much with me. Uh, besides, we haven't even started this so friendly. Little green moves over. Alright, uh, I got room. So, Kitsu moves up that's a lot of loot quite a lot of loot what do we have here andrew Anders sanders you are the one with uh, most space available Moving up, and we can hand over loot to Anders. Proceeding. I'll be right there. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Tyler moves back. No, 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 no. Tyler can freely access ready. all of that. So yes. Like the wind. Good. Jim is moving up as well. But doesn't have 
the perk to immediately access the inventory. Everybody's rushing towards the exit and to get as much out of uh, these chests as possible. It's good to have these two. They're not actively doing anything against us. And so far we haven't even scouted enemies, which is great. No further Pandoran activity. Well, I was wrong. There is a little bit of activity. Well, maybe a little bit more. Oh, definitely more. Good, we're starting to get stuff and are just rushing towards the exit. Let's do this. Jim theoretically could evacuate, we're not going to do that. Just theoretically. That is helpful. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are valuable. Grenade is moderately valuable as well. I think we're good. Starting to rush back. completely overloaded. Natalia aims Problem and kills. Solved. We forget anything? Yeah, nothing of major importance. Catch me if you can. Tyler moves. I was born ready. Catch me if you can. Kids moves and look. One more round, and we're all out of here. Three full chests and we almost like completely cleared them out. Not bad. And you can see the um, siren for instance, that's already bad news. The moment that she comes in, it means we either kill her or we uh, lose a person when evacuating. Out of curiosity though. So yeah, we're leaving. Out of curiosity though. 
Do we have any? Let's show them what we can do. Means to get this guy paralyzed. No, we're not evacuating yet. Because maybe we'll get some extra. Maybe we'll get some extra mutagens. Uh, let me Proceed. just deal with that real quick. No need to... Uh, Tyler, okay, cool. So... Ein is not good in hitting with a gun. But did a respectable job, which means once the gun is halfway empty, he hands it over and just leaves. Brings us to Tyler. Who empties the gun and leaves. Operative on the move. So we've already started uh, to clear the magazine. Interestingly enough, these big Horses can also be paralyzed, so here comes the Phoenix. I'm just curious no if we uh, are going to get some extra mutagens out of this. Okay, I, th I don't think that we can get much more than these two. Use some ammunition and I think we still would get the paralyzed targets. More than half of the resources were collected. Yeah, the team did well, I mean, look. Was it perfect? No. But for like a perfect mission, we would need to clear the entire map. And I don't think that with the amount of respawn that we're uh, taking, that that is going to be easily possible. It seems to me that the whole like supply crates are better in the beginning and become less good later. We did get the Arthron, but we did not get uh, the spawner on the bright side. We're now starting to manufacture. By the way, one, two, three. I still want the last uh, probes. I'm pretty sure we're almost done. So that was a successful mission. More to come. I'm going to move to here. Cool. 180 points of damage and 80 pierce. Oh, wow. Oh, and the effect of range is good. Mm. What do we need to do in order to build these monstrosities of weapons? Scorpion 50 each. Almost there. Cool. I could build that. That's a nice little sniper rifle. <clears throat>
Ancient Grenade Launcher. Okay, I want one of those. We could build the shark gun. I, I mean, this one has piercing and it's a lot of damage, but I would potentially rather just go for a melee weapon. And we need to find more oricalcum because that's required for many of the weapons apparently. Okay, let's continue to trade. That is helpful. That is helpful. Getting some food back. Okay. Nine for two. Excavation completed. Perfect. Well, a couple of things. First of all, this here hasn't fully been scanned. Secondly, There are still areas that need scanning. Okay, over here. Let's do this and whilst we're at it. Apparently in Eugenia, <clears throat> Papua New Guinea seems to be a big uh, topic. I think mostly all of the other world has been fully scanned. Two more and we're done. Just want to make sure we uh, were really everywhere. So next up we're going uh, and was that an auricalcum mine? Oh yeah, that's what we needed. Fantastic. Good, got one more antediluvian ruin here, one here. One more there. Okay, so those two are fighting. <coughs> Team one <coughs> is fighting through Australia. Team two. Cap the word and then Antarctica. It's a clear plan. This team, team three. It's just trying to keep in the area to make sure we can react to anything that happens. And I don't think that there is anything else other than trading that they can do at the moment. OK, 
Okay, Tyler. It's that last level up. Mark for death is fantastic, but rapid clearance is also really, really good. So I think we're going with There are a couple of things that I would like uh, to have. Hmm. I think we're going with weak spot for now. Armor removal always comes first. And quick game. We'll get the other ones in due time. Okay, Prime Team, because they are going to drop soon. This is, we can just do the mission. I haven't been playing long enough. So. Let's go through that. I think. Oila has enough strength. I mean, that's evident. We could improve on speed and on willpower. And I think what we're going to do for now is speed, just because more movement means better uh, angles, better availability in combat. Poly. It's good, I don't uh, need anything at the moment. The bigger ticket items will be coming equally here. Uh, if anything, a little bit more strength makes sense. Polly already has a lot of strength uh, sing, uh, thanks, to, uh, thanks to the Bombardier. Okay. Next up, Shattered Realm. I mean Onslaught for him. Just having Onslaught on more people uh, I think would make sense. I've been trying to get around that for a while, but I think it just makes sense. Plus two speed here. And bonus grenade range. That's also good, so that solves his speed problem for now. Spider drones make a lot of sense. But overall, just moving faster makes even more sense. So it's one of the few characters where, since we are killing so much, where I believe I really just need to focus on making sure that they are as quick at the enemy as possible. Almost maximum speed here. Enough willpower and has that nice little weapon perk. It's just overall a fantastic character. DG could use some more speed, so we're just going to wait here. PDWs for Grell. What do we think about that? Might not be a bad idea. First of all, we don't need that. So we're already lighter since that gun doesn't have any ammunition. Um, yeah, I'm wondering, I mean, uh, she gets a lot of damage. Would be good outside of adrenaline uh, adrenaline rush to have other options so pdws could be good alternatively crank up the speed and make her faster
I think for now we're just increasing speed. Good. Let's deploy. Good. We landed. And look at that. Uh, we already find our first few friends over here. Let's give everyone a good old frenzy. Then whilst we're at it, launching a spider drone pack, pretty much into the middle here. Uh, no free reload, which means we ran out of ammunition. Okay, cool. Well, that can happen. Good, moving up. I'll go all the way over here. Rapid clearance. Let's go, baby. Moving up. As per the usual. One down. Move over. Disable. Another one down. Moving up. Um, oh, we don't have... Okay, well... Need to rebuild the turret. One, two, three. Nothing here, which is good. Means we can go back. <clears throat> Dilly G. Takes the high ground. Prophet Murphy moves down. Uh, can we trade from here? No, we can't. Holly moves down. Trades the turret. Takes the turret. Throws the turret. Rel moves up. Euler moves forward. And you guys are extending a shield. Very good. Can't find anyone else. Which leads me to believe that we have cleared most of it. Well, most of the first pack, <laughs> not most of it. There are plenty of enemies around. Will points are looking fine. Yeah, very much fine. 
Now it's off to the spider drones to scout and find the rest. Well, there could be someone down here, theoretically. Might as well check it. Recovery on our fronts. Yeah, we're not going to fight the big one unless needed. So currently there is no need for that. Polly sits up here. I think we're overall we're okay. Recovery. Overwatch. And end of turn. It's really the spiders are supposed to find the enemies. And finding them they will. See, there we go, already found them. Just double checking that there's no one up here. Uh, quick aim. We hit him. Oh, yeah. Very good. Spot on his shields being heavily attacked. Grellus moving up. Grellus actually shooting quite well with that rifle. Nope, can't hit from here. Tell you what, we can hit with Euler. Nah, maybe we cannot. Maybe we cannot. Ian overwatches and we'll just do that. The most inappropriate of all Murphys is overwatching as well. will hit but you can always try JP overwatches and last but certainly not least Jeranks is taking cover here good I think that's pretty much okay. Let's just end the turn. So one-on-one -on, -one on how to deal with the, uh, the Guardians. Either stay like ultra, ultra far away. Or go into melee and steamroll them. No, 
one of our spiders. Unacceptable. Look, point being... We can easily get through their armor and penetrate that. I think now is a good time for Adrenaline Rush. Very good. Excellent. Get the Arachalcom shielding away. Uh, just out of curiosity, our gun. Oh yeah, it's very well. Cool, easy. Let's haste everybody. <laughs> always, a frenzy is a such a good ability. We were hitting the crystal shield. Dilly G moves up. And we're just removing the tree. Okay, cool. Well, not perfect, but okay. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. It was clear. Uh, it's always happening. They are always kind of coming from the side somewhere. But spider drone moves up to still be the best target here. We'll take care of this guy just in a second. For now, we'll try and it'll be okay. Good. Move slightly forward, quick aim, shoot, uh, shot and back. Cyclops has finally engaged.
Yep, they're still missing. The little spiders are the perfect counter. Makes these guys so much more serviceable. Weapon clearance. Pretty rapidly has cleared that guy. Spider drone continues to move. And whilst we're on it, moving all the way back to here. Ian gets some more actions. One dash. Question is where can I park him? I mean, we could kill both of uh, the guardians. We just need enough time. Let's focus on the big one first and shred some armor, shall we? the leg. Got a nice little overwatch here. He's standing in a interesting position for us. Because we can deal a lot of damage, like 350 per remote control is nothing to scoff at. That's just getting it down so fast. Just realized we can also remote control spiders. Interesting concept. Killing it. I think what would be better is to move up and give action points over. That's plus one on the action points. Continuing to shoot at that guy. Crystal shield is gone. Now we're down to three charges. So 
Let's just continue with the PDW. Need to hit three times. really help here. Next turn, we're going to kill both, very likely. End of turn. turret is doing a lot of work. I like the laser ones. Very accurate. They don't shred too much, but I think given the engagement distance that I'm typically choosing, the, ac uh, the accuracy makes up for more than enough. we need is to get the stu uh, stupid auricalcum charges off. Still haven't finished. That's unfortunate. That's far away. Not even sure if... Oh yeah, there is... Oh, okay, there are multiples. Well... In which case, we're using our snipers. May need to get them down. Franks moves forward. That way he can uh, support in handing over actions. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't want to be any anywhere near that guy. Oh, cool! We tasted. Well, that might change things just a slight bit. And they sometimes come in pairs of three, so it might change uh, not uh, change it not enough for us to engage. Guys, pairs of three were talking pairs of four. Dashing forward even without the buff. Okay, well, once we're close, things are just getting crazy, and with more speed, this is this build is getting even more crazy. It felt like we used quite a bit of resources, and some of the stuff needs to be reproduced. Such as the turret, for instance. So we weren't starting with full equipment, which is not optimal. So manufacturing. So the three packs of spiders, they come in immediately. And in terms of turrets, let's just get those guys done as well. And one more fury. Okay, we're now getting eight. Oricalcum. Eight is great. Now soldiers need a small break and afterwards we're going to get into the hive over there. Alright, a couple of things here. For starters, let's start with that. Secondly, 
that, and that. And that. Okay, can't trade anything here. Okay. So let's try to get as much stuff here as possible. We're still trading with a lot of our vessels. Okay, let's get more resources. After several hours of searching, nothing useful was found, but it is really unfortunate. Continuing a lot of trading here. 2 for 10 is not lucrative enough. A disciples of Andrew Haven is under attack. Okay, well, we're scanning everywhere now. Not sure how many antediluvian ruins we're going to find, but I'm happy that we get eight oricalcum instead of uh, just four. And maybe having more aircrafts to mine these resources, that would also be helpful. It is what it is now. I'm already creating a few aircrafts here, Manticore and Tiamat, just to get the teams ready. Research complete. Good. Panoran attacks on Havens are disrupted, preventing uh, damage or casualties until four hours after the attack is detected. Not sure if that already works for the one that is in place, but that will be great. A really good addition. Let's do some trading. Nope. Let's do some trading down here. 249 is not good. Those guys are crooks. Okay, idea with Helios 5 and 6 is 
get that stamina up just a tiny bit. So afterwards, we're going for the Pandoran Lair. And after that, there is still a Antediluvian Ruin up here. Hmm. On the upside, on the flip side, 20 is still enough to continue. So we could go immediately for the Lair. Uh, get some trading on the way, then start the Ruin and then rest here which would even be more efficient. And since we've just completed the Watcher, let's give uh, that over. Yeah, that turret is really good. I like it a lot. Okay. Um, with regards to Kitsu, she has a turret, she has arms, everything's good. With regards to the third team, Vanessa, arms, turret, good. And with regards to the last team, I think they did not even have, yeah, no, they didn't have a technician so far. So having one would definitely be helpful for now. We're just leaving it as is, okay. So let's have a Haven Info here, 50%, I think we're still being in time. Both of our aircrafts are already flying in. Good, this is already a spawnery. We're definitely going to do that the next time but that would definitely that would uh, weaken the aliens here and as the mist is being pushed back we're actually doing fine I definitely want to save uh, Anu the disciples of Anu here We need a bit better connection to the Sinidrins, but that will come. Their havens in South America haven't been attacked so far, so yeah, not sure. That might happen in the future. In terms of bases, anything that I should be aware of, Mist Repellent Satellite Uplink in South America is still getting online. Europe, same deal. So really there is a delay in between what happened in the past and what's happening now. I would argue that opening this base might allow us to actually fly on that side. Fly here. That would be a huge shortcut getting team two kind of back into quote unquote civilization. Currently team three with one Manticore is the only one that is fighting here. 
as the manticore finalizes um, they would get like that second manticore and then what we need soon ish would be the tiamat Might as well start with the Tiamat and then do the Manticore because the Tiamat can carry an entire team and we can station that up here just like doing its thing or even like fly them down here and station them here and have the Manticore up here. Okay, cool. Well, guys, that's the end of today's mission. Uh, next time we're doing a Pandora Lair. Thank you so much for watching and see you very soon. Bye-bye.